Right lad, today we're going to do something a bit different. Priest got a new card in the mini set called Funnel Cake, which refreshes free mana at the most. So we're going to go and look back at an archetype that I like to play, which is Miracle Priest, typically stealing your opponent's card. So I'm going to look at a game from about two years ago, review and uh, kind of analyse what Priest could do then. But before we start, is a bit of a ridge lad. Father's Day is upon us, and for the perfect Father's Day gift, why not give your dad a brand new ridge wallet? They have some new designs in store, and it's up to 40% off site-wide. There you go, Dad. Thanks, son. And Ridge have released two new leather wallets in brown and black. You can check these out for 15% off on these two at ridge.com forward slash Dane. That's ridge.com forward slash Dane. Through to the 15th of June for Father's Day. Find the perfect Father's Day gift this year from a huge selection of metallic wallets and key cases. And get 40% off through to the 15th of June at ridge.com forward slash Dane. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a, uh, a deck from almost two years ago, which is basically uh, Miracle Priest. This was when August 20, uh, 2021, so just a couple of months off being two years old. And not much has changed now, actually. Quest is still pretty good. Quest Druid is like one of the best decks in Wild. And uh, Quest Wall has returned, but it's a lot weaker. And at the time, like I say, Mind Render was its old version. So first off, I've got a little bit uh, more hair now. Eh? So this is the match we're going to look at. It is Quest Druid versus Miracle Priest. And some of the differences that we're going to look at now, because Priest has got some really good cards in that space of two years for Miracle. Shadowed Devourer. They've got their Shard of Naru, which draws and heals for uh, free HP. Uh, you've also got like an overheal package that draws a lot. Uh, but this version was a little bit clunkier. You could only really reliably draw your entire deck out on turn 5 or 6. Because I'm going to show you the power of this deck now. And how more elevated and quicker it's got. These quests stand the time, you know, test of time. Especially these newer ones from, I think it was Stormwind, was it? So with uh, with the current iteration of Miracle Priest, what's different? Well, the win condition in this one was Mind Render. Like I say, Mind Render was free mana, swap the hand and deck. So the idea here was to swap your opponent's deck and use Auctioneer and the Zami to draw all of their cards and fatigue them. And then swap the the deck back basically you get your hand back at the end of the turn in the uh modern format 2023 we're using tony instead of mind render so it's the same concept what we're doing is we're drawing our entire deck out with the new miracle priest and then drawing the opponent's deck out uh so they've got basically nothing left and you ha end up with like a full board and it works pretty reliably but you see they're 10-6 our opponent's got guff online already so it's a it's a little bit slower it's like one turn slower i mean that deck's still really quick but as you can see it's turn seven for us as a miracle priest and this is pretty slow and that's because we don't have those great mana cheat cards that we've got now but what you're going to see is us trying to reduce the uh gift of luminance asap because we need gift of luminance to essentially get triple reduction here so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying not to discover as many cards. Discovery cards in this deck is really bad because it, it slows the uh, the entire turn down. But now I'm fairly confident. I have a Gift of Luminance there. What I'm going to do is uh, essentially take two turns to kill the opponent here, if I remember rightly. Uh, from the looks of this gameplay that I'm seeing here, because this, is, like I say, is a two-year-old game, that's on the YouTube channel. I'll leave the link in the description. I'm basically going to do this over two turns. So I'm going to uh, reduce the hand down. I have Resurrect there. I'm just trying to get as many cards to zero as possible. And then I'm going to... Oh, there's a CBD out there. Look at that. And then the next turn, I'm going to take his entire deck off him. I could also take that reward. The reason I'm running Seance in this list is because uh, I would Seance the Warlock's Quest reward it's 10-7 in the grand scheme of things now in wild. That's pretty slow. You know, that's pretty slow. But I'll, I'll pause it. If you look at the hand, we've got exactly what we need. I've got a resurrect 
So if one of these the zombies dies, I can bring it back to life. I've got my auctioneer in hand for zero, and I've got mine render. So all I would do there is I would play all the cards from my hand, make as many Nazamis as possible, play the auctioneer, and then get ready to blast off. So that's the idea here. Very, it's actually very different from the the current Tony list, but uh, same concept. So you see that like uh, Spellstone's not run anymore. They have Rake instead. Rake is an excellent card to remove. So you can see like the little changes in these deck lists uh, that accelerate them. Just they they almost accelerate them by like one or two turns, which is it's, it's mad, isn't it? This was already pretty quick. Like he he completed the quest reward pretty quick. He got me down really low. He's got fairy armor, but now here we go. He didn't really do much, and there's the mind render. So the reason this deck was only good in this little pocket meta uh, was because of the quest. That was it. Everyone was running cheap spells, heavily heavy spell decks. All the popular decks were heavy spell decks at the time. You had Quest Mage using the Time Warp. You had Quest Warlock, which had really cheap cards. Uh, you also had Quest Druid and Quest Hunter. All of those were basically kind of 20 spell decks. And it allowed this type of deck to kind of thrive. I mean, the best thing about Mind Render was you would get your hand and deck back. So you would basically leave them with an empty deck and uh, you would still get your cards back. With the Tony deck, we're gonna after this game, we're going to see you actually empty both decks out uh, at an extremely fast pace. I'm talking like four mana. You can, you can empty both decks out with four mana. And... A little trick I've done is I've actually taken all discovery cards out the new deck. So if you don't run any discovery cards in your deck, you can cycle out around 40 cards in one turn by turn four. Now, as you see there, there's the end of the game. I'll pause that for a sec. So let's just take a look at some of the cards. So Oaken Summons isn't run anymore. Instead of Oaken Summons, you've probably got the uh, Nerubian 4-8. Uh, That's basically a zero mana card based on how much armor you've got. You don't run Savagery anymore. Like, say, Rake has kind of replaced that card. Rake's kind of replaced the Spellstone. Secure Dex run. Corrupted Moonkin card still run. Oh, sorry, Moon Touch still run. And Nash isn't run, actually. Because you have Pounce. So there, there it is. That is the old list. Now we're going to move on to some games and show off what Priest can do now. Whoopsies. I didn't mean... Obviously, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> ah, I see you yeah, I, I, I t Tony being at the bottom threw me off there. I better keep that in case it's a uh, enrage. What is a forty-card warrior doing in this town? Eh? What's he doing here? Oh, two insights. Menagerie Warrior? Menagerie Warrior, yeah. I guess we're having a little bit of an adventure next turn. All right. If I do do double engineer, uh, double auctioneer, proceed with caution on the old card drawing. This guy's a dredge god. Double dredge. Minus two instead of minus three now. Nora Reno deck.
And I even took Greater Diamond Spellstone as a choice. I think the low feb was probably a bit too much on turn five. Might keep the coin high value on coin. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Pirates away. I am sure I can do pretty well next turn. Hey, look at that, I did do next. Well, next turn. <laughs> Three mana left. What a waste. Uh, nah, I don't really like Diablo, so I probably, probably won't play it. I love quest. I love playing against quest mage. Eh, a wildfire. Now that's interesting. Oh, yeah, there's some funnel cakes as well. Insight. Okay. Double funnel cake. Man, Funnel Cake's such a broken, stupid card. I can't believe they printed a, f a zero mana get free health uh, mana crystals back. I'll assume that's a frost spell and it's ice block. I mean, I hope it is. Just trying to think of when's the best time to go. Could be objection, but we'll find out. So yeah. Four mana. I mean, it just allows such stupid turns.
can have the deck back if you want. I think got zero. That's pretty good. Mm, funny that. Ha 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 ha